So there, I, I said, there are many apple styles. It depends on what kind of apple they got. Amen. You know, there's Macintosh apples, there's Empire apples, That's right. there's delicious apples, and there's Brady Smith apples, all kind of apples. But there's only one true apple style. <laughs> There's only one way. That's right. You understand? We ain't teaching against nobody. We can, it's either light or darkness. Water and oil don't mix. Is that right? That's right. I don't care how you may shake it up. Huh? Mm -hmm. When you set it down, what's going to happen? Separate. Separate. Paul said, light and darkness have no fellowship. Oh, no. That's why he said, come out from among them and be he was. Separate. The only way to get in Christ, you got to be born again. Born of the water. That's the baptism in Jesus' name. But you know, there's a lot of controversy in the, I'm talking about in the Christian arena, and people come against you, but why y'all think y'all only want right? Now we don't think we don't want right. We follow the Bible. Because the Bible is right. Now if the Bible ain't right, throw it away. I remember Bishop was preaching to me because I was in Boston. Sister Dallas, Sister Dallas, and Bishop. Yeah. You remember, I don't know if you remember, Bob. Oh, yeah. Bishop was a priest. Boy, the anointing was on him. He preached a bishop's time to the field. But there was a big, big bishop up there that made him the, 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 the pulpit was lonely. You know? I remember this one young fellow, he said, there was some sitting in the front. Bishop would hit a point, you know, he hit the, it, it would get hot. He said, ow! No. He said, ow! <laughs> so, but Bishop would, Bishop was preaching, he had the Bible. He said, if, he said, Bishop, if this Bible is right, then throw it away. <laughs> the, the Bishop didn't know whether to pick it up. <laughs> but he understand, if this Bible ain't right, then what we use it for? Yeah, that's right. There's one Lord, one faith, one faith and one baptism. One God. One Lord, one mediator between who? God. God and man. Who? The man. Not the God man. That's right. Y'all better wake up in the morning. Teach a bishop, teach it. One mediator yeah. between God, God and man. Yes, sir. The man. The man. The man. The man, not fully God, fully man. Mm. He's a man. Yeah. Approved of God. God, God anointed him. Yeah. So, so they say to us, why do y'all make that thing? Uh, why do y'all make that an issue? Because that is the issue. Because if Jesus is not the Son of God, we ain't got no mediator. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And if Jesus ain't a man be in trouble. Because yeah. Paul said that we preach in lies. Because we preach that God raised up Jesus, whom he raised up not. You understand? And if God didn't raise him, if Christ did not raise from the dead, he said, then our preaching is in vain. And if our preaching is in vain, we might as well get on the bus and go to Disney World. <laughs> and see Mickey. <laughs> but he said, I'm preaching this not in vain. Because Christ did raise from the dead. And he became the first fruits of them that slept. When he got up, he said, How be it? Oh, I feel big. All right. He said, That which is not spiritual is first.
nerves, but that which is natural. In order for God to get Jesus, he had to get Adam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got Jesus from Adam. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. So that's why David said in Psalms 8, what is man that thou art mindful of him? And the son of man that thou visitest him? For he was made lower than the But God now had crowned him with glory and honor. When he got up, he got up with power. He said, all power in heaven and in earth is given unto me. But then come at the end. Mm. Oh, y'all don't hear Paul now. Yeah. When he's going to give the kingdom back to God. Yeah. And then he said, I'm not quoting this I'm, I'm in, y'all know where I'm in, in the book of uh, First Corinthians, chapter 15. That God is accepted. That he is accepted. Yeah. God did not put himself yeah. under yeah. Jesus. That's right. That's it's right. It's just like. Remember, see, there's a natural side to anything before there is a spiritual side. It's just like what God did for Joseph. Joseph. Yeah. When Joseph put down into Egypt land, yeah. and when Joseph finally made it to yeah. Pharaoh's house, yeah. Pharaoh made Joseph the governor. Yeah. But Pharaoh didn't put himself under Joseph. That's right. That's what God did for Jesus. Did y'all thank God for good teaching? Ooh. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. God, Pharaoh gave Joseph the authority, but he didn't put himself. That's what God did for Jesus. He said, all power in heaven and in earth is given unto me. But God did not put himself under Jesus. Never will. What is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? For he's made what? Lower than the angel. But God has crowned him with glory and honor. Don't you know, even the angels of God bow to Jesus. But see what happened? Lucifer said, I ain't bow. I ain't gonna bow to that man. What is man? See, there's two sides to it. What is man? Remember, God made man out of the dust of the ground. But he got the natural man first. Adam was only a type and a figure of what was to come. Adam was not the man God wanted. Jesus was the man God wanted. Amen. So, Bishop, I, 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 so when God said, let us make man, was that Adam or was that Jesus? In our image, in our likeness. Uh, was it dual? Remember, we clearly say who the us he was talking to. But just like Bush have a cabinet, God have a cabinet. Yes. He have angels that are close to him. I can't say clearly, and I, I mean, I'm just saying, even I believe Bishop of State, we cannot say clearly who the us was that he was talking to. But we know God had the angels, remember, Lucifer was next to God. That's right. That's All right. I'll go by the picture. He also had Gabriel, uh -huh. who was the mighty angel. Mm -hmm. Michael, who was the archangel. Yeah. So yeah. God had a cat. Yeah. God is organized. I believe you, know, you made this statement yesterday, Bishop. Uh, God ain't disorganized. Uh -huh. And he said, when he could swear by no greater, he swore by himself. All right. yeah. He said, let us make man. And then let them have dominion. <laughs> it didn't bother me. I mean, it didn't really bother Lucifer that God was making man. Mm -hmm. 
That wasn't the issue. He was saying, let them have dominion. He's going to give the man power. But remember, man is a terrestrial being. He's made lower than the angels. That's what that means. We are terrestrial. Angels are celestial. Is that right? But man is a terrestrial. Then he said, let them have dominion. Because at that time, Lucifer, That's right. that was, he, he was over all the other angels. That's right. Teaching Bishop. Teaching. So there was nobody over Lucifer. Right. But when God said, let them have dominion, mm -hmm. that's what started the controversy. Yeah. All right. God going to make a man and give the man power. Come on. Yeah. This man is made lower than us. Yeah. Yeah. And God going to crown him with glory and honor. Glory and honor. That's when the war started. All right. So Lucifer began to make war in heaven. Mm -hmm. And he thought he was going to take over. But God always had. You see the book of Revelation. I see it a little more clear. He said, but Michael and the angels fought against the dragon. You understand? Uh -huh. God always got somebody to stand up for him. Amen. He had not left himself without a witness. Amen. So when Lucifer looked up, he was out. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> then he said, woe be to the inhabitants of the earth. Why? Wow. Because the devil has come down. Amen. And he had great wrath. When the sons of God come together, the devil come out. Yes, right. You know yourself, you could be getting along fine, having a nice dinner out there, everybody going fine, and here comes the devil. Yes. Nothing but trouble. He come to either rob you, yes. steal, yes. and kill you. That's his main objective. Woe be to the inhabitants of the earth, the devil has come down. Great remember, wrath. he had great wrath. Because he's mad with God. Remember, it's Lucifer or Satan versus God. Satan is trying to prove that God does not exist. That's what it's all about. That there is no God. That's right. You understand? If you say that Jesus is God, you're saying that the eternal, invisible God of the universe does not exist. Yes, that's right. Jesus is God. It's all right. You understand the lie he sold yeah, to, right. to the apostolic folk? Mm -hmm. Well, we understand the world is lost, but they're supposed to be the ones that's preaching Jesus. Jesus that's that's right. the saddest thing. What happened with the true church? Oh, Lord. They allowed the woman Jezebel. Remember, that's a spirit. Oh, man. That's right. And this is what happened in the, in the days of the, of the early church. They said they suffered the woman Jezebel to teach and to seduce the prophets. So that seducing spirit and doctrines of devil have taken over. Yeah, yeah. So they allowed them to bring in that erroneous doctrine. Because remember now, if you search the Catholic, there was a time when the Catholic, I believe what it's called, the, the uh, we should brought it before us. The there's the Nicene Creed, the and then there's the, the Apostolic Creed. The Apostolic Creed is right, and that's what the Catholics used to believe. Yes, that's right. There was a time when even the Catholics baptized. Really, the word Catholic is universal church. Yeah, all right. They originally baptized in Jesus' name. That's right. It wasn't until Constantine That's right. at the Council of Nice in Constantinople, and I believe you search the history, in the 1500s, yeah. got the bishops together and they changed the doctrine. That's right. 
That's right. And they went from preaching Jesus, the Son of God, to the Trinity. This is what they brought in, the Trinitarian doctrine. It is the false church that took over the true church. Yeah. You read the Roman history and the Catholic history when they put the true church underground. This is when the Trinitarian doctrine came out. They changed. They did not remain on the foundation. When Paul wrote to the Galatians and said, if any man preach any other gospel, let him be accursed. All right. But what happened? They loved the praise of men. Yeah. They got caught up in the praise of men. Yeah. The, the church got caught up in materialism. Mm -hmm. I was told that somebody, you can correct me if I'm wrong, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, but uh, I, I was reading history. I like to read history. You know. But I was told, even under World War II, Hitler said about the church, you don't have to worry about them. You understand? Know don't worry about the, uh, the the bishops and the, the religious folk. Just give them some, give them material things. Yeah. You understand? So if we got them in our hip pocket. We didn't want them to take over the world. Yeah. He wasn't worried about the church and God because the church is caught up in materialism. And you look today. Yes. Holistically. Yeah. Folk, they're caught up in materialism. Yeah. Who can drive the biggest car? Who can get? Who got the biggest hat? They're not concerned about living for Christ. Basically, the big convention now is a big fashion show. It's not about letting Christ be magnified. I was told. I heard an individual come in the Detroit area and they said, well, um, he was speaking of the standard. He said, well, they, they have what is called the blended doctrine. You know that? The blended. So if you out of it about, you don't have to look. You know, you can put on your pants. They you know, relax the rules. You know what I'm the blend in doctrine. Yeah, yeah. Being forced to blend in. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Paul said, come out, what? Come out, what? Come out, what? Come out, what? Separate. We are the sanctified church. Yes. Because remember, we are the light of the world. Yes. We can't look like the world. If any man be in Christ, he's a what? All things are what? Passed away. Then behold, all things become what? New. Somebody in the end of it. I can't see you. Oh, sorry, Bishop. Um, I just want to take you back a little bit when you uh, made the reference to um, that um, what is man that thou art mindful of him? and even the son of man that thou visitest him. I just want to know for clarification, is that Jesus or is that Adam or is it both? Huh? You remember he said, what is man? Who is the man? Who is the first man? I'm, I'm just giving you my yeah. understanding. Yeah. If I'm wrong, if I make a mistake, I ain't too. But you remember he said, what is man? Mm -hmm. Who was the first man God made? Yeah. That was Adam. What is man? That, now remember, even though Adam disobeyed, was God mindful of Adam? Yes. Even in his passing judgment, there was a sacrifice made. Did you follow me? When God turned him out, but remember, before he turned him out, he clothed him. Uh huh. That's right. Is that right? Yes, sir. So an animal died. That's right. So that was God making a provision. Uh -huh. So what is man that thou art what? Mindful of it. And then the what? Son of man. man. Oh, no. Who say he that I, the son, son of man? Okay. The son of man that thou what? Visit. So remember, who, what is man? 
Yeah. The foundation laid. They ain't laying foundation. We're laying upon that foundation. What is the foundation? Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. But you know what happened? Here come the devil. And folk allowed their mind to be seduced. They, they, they wanted position. They weren't concerned about truth. They want to be main mission. They want to be presiding mission. They want to be right mission. They want to be art mission. Now they're freely in everything. Paul just made it simple. He said, I beseech you, brethren. Brethren, that covers everybody. Who does that mean by? Who's tax exempt from that? He said, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. Remember, the church is the body of Christ, but not all members have the same offer. Everybody can't be the head chief. What if you was all head? <laughs> Imagine you got up in the morning and your right foot wanted to go that way, your left foot wanted to go that way. Where would you go? The body works together. Is that right? It's uniquely. They're members, comely and uncomely. So it is in the church. Everybody ain't at the same office, but we're members together, but everybody's in part. You mean to tell me your little toenail ain't important? Let somebody stub it. Let somebody hit that corn. But immediately, the hand goes. You get a toothache or something happened immediately, your hand goes to console it. Sometimes your knee hurt. The body works together. Okay. So what about the body of Christ? So why are we all fighting against one another? You know what I'm saying? Why we can't have a chicken dinner together without somebody arguing over this or that? Or who's in charge? We all on the same team. All right. Why is the defense arguing with the offense? There's one coach, is that right? Now the coach may have them to have assistance. So those who are specialized. So it is in the church. There's one pastor in the church. Then there's administration. He has secretary. He has deacon board. Why the oh. So the salt baked dick and they go tell the pastor what to do. We all labors together. Why the missionaries argue with the young folks? The young folks say, I don't need no help the missionaries. All right. Oh, why not? Well, let the missionaries do that. Oh, you must not be teaching. Why? Paul said in one of the cases, I hear that there are divisions among you. And I hardly believe it. Why everybody want to be the head and they don't give them the chief? Missionaries was at the church. 
church. You was a missionary. Right. If the young people was at the church, right. you was a young people. Amen. If it was sisterhood, it didn't matter. We help one another. We go deliver dinners. Oh, I deliver dinner. I'm a bishop now. Oh, we go help clean up. If it ain't free, we ain't there. But then we go to the Red Lobster and lay down a hundred bills like it ain't nobody. All right, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. they, they charge you for that free cooked food and you paying fifteen, twenty dollars a plate. Mm -hmm. And they ask, we want ten dollars donation to help with the dinner. Every time I turn around, donation, donation. Mm -hmm. We, we forget about you can't beat God's giving. Don't you know whatever you do for the Lord, you're going to get a reward. That's right. Yes, you will. Amen. Yes, you will. But I guess the doctrine doesn't change now. If they tell me there's something going on in the church and I'm, I'm sitting at home and don't support one another.
Did you know? Some of the old missionaries, y'all remember you had to make a report? How many visited in the hospital? How many visited in the hospital? Uh, how many, maybe, when's the last time we invited somebody to church? Young people on the street for the Lord, canvassing, huh? passing out tracks, letting the world know Jesus saved. And now what happened? The devil has slipped in. He slipped in in DVD. Mm -hmm. All night long. There was something they came, I came in with the guy that they was watching. Uh -oh. Something about die hard. Uh -oh. Somebody was watching. Oh, now. Now the, the devil has really slipped it up. Medea. Don't know more about Medea than Malachi. You ask him about what Malachi 3 and 6 say. But ask him about what Medea said. In the Browns. Getting manipulated and all that stuff. But I'm saying, where is our spirit? Where is our time? Get us that. Where is our time and devotion for the Lord? But that don't matter anymore. There used to be a time we used to call one another up and you know say there was a scripture on my heart. Now it's Texan. Have you heard the latest? Instead of comforting one another. Talking about the soberness of mind and keeping our, I understand, I ain't saying you got to be a stick in the mud. That's not what I'm talking about. You walk But I'm saying, where is our spiritual consciousness of who we are? Paul said, I don't want to know nothing among you who say Jesus Christ and him crucified. So you ain't got good news to tell me about the Lord, don't text that to me. Don't text that to me because I don't know how to text me you back. I ain't getting nothing. Don't give me my eye. I ain't. I ain't. But may the Lord just be. All right. Paul said, think of these things. Time is again. Yeah. Fifteen minutes. See, I got fifteen minutes. No. <laughs> I ain't gonna do it with this. He's a stir, he said, he's stirring up our pure mind. He said, think of these things. What sort of things are what? Jesus. What sort of things are love? What sort of things are what? Good report. Think of what? These things. And I said, you know, you begin to work around the house of the Lord and be around the sun. This keeps your mental alertness. But you get home by yourself. You heard evangelist preaching last night. You know, but that's to evangelist, what's going to happen to you? But he said, I will keep him who in what? In perfect peace who what? You got to keep your mind. Sometimes you gotta take, you gotta say, get a hold of yourself. That's right. And then we'll get you home. Uh oh. <laughs> Don't nobody love you. You alone. You by yourself. Nobody cares about you. The truth. <laughs> Look at that. They didn't even speak to you last night. Oh, Ain't no love in the church. <laughs> Go get up and show some love somewhere. Right. So now you got to get your mind off yourself. That's right. Amen. Very good. This song is encourage yourself in the Lord. You find yourself and say, wait a minute, let me go think about somebody else. Let me call. Maybe Brother So and so has been shut in. Because I just bought you a little flower. Maybe brought you dinner, something. 
Just don't you know? How it lifts your heart just to know somebody cares. That's right. That's right. That is that. I was thinking about you. And I just picked up this card. Uh-oh. Casting all your cares upon the free one. To the saints, let us be encouraged. Let us embrace the good old way. Keep yourself. Jude said it like this. Build up yourself. Uh, build, build up, up yourself. On your most holy thing. Holy thing. Keeping yourself. Just like, you know, you know, see, the devil don't want us to come to the council. He don't want us to be stripped. You can set home, folk. You let cousin Horace die in Idaho. They ain't seen Cousin Horace in 25 years, Bishop. I ain't saying I don't want to hear it. No, right. No, no, Jeremiah right. says, like, every time I open my mouth, I'm ready to be I ain't seen Cousin Horace. Well, you let, now, you know, let Cousin Horace die. We, we get that money under the mattress. Somewhere, where you going? My cousin died. Now he don't know whether you there or not. <laughs> you ain't seen him in 25 years. But now, it's council time. Who's going to the council? Well, I don't feel like it. My mind ain't there. You look how the devil manipulated us. <laughs> now he knows if he can prevent you from coming to the meeting, so you're going to be strengthened. Yes. 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 The iron shock we, we, we strengthen one another. Yes. Yes. We, we lift up one another. Mm -hmm. When I see you, see young brother there, still holding on. That lift you up. Yes. You're encouraged. You hear the songs, you hear the praises, you begin to hear the testimony of what the Lord is yet doing for those that believe. Mm -hmm. See, the devil don't want you, he don't want you to be stricken. Don't you know you get the most tired is just before church? <laughs> church time at 7.30, by 7 o'clock, all, oh, all, oh, all the tired is falling. So by the time you make up your mind, you ain't going. Now, see, the devil had a time just right. 8.15, you ain't going. All of a sudden, you get a burst of energy. Ain't that right? Amen.
or 6 a.m. sale at the bottom time or at Macy's. 75% off. What do you think? Now, you just watch. 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 Watch during the holiday season. I, I know we do Christmas shop. Oh. You watch for 3 o'clock in the morning, they'll be at, at the sale. But if we said prayer meeting all night at 3 o'clock in the morning, how many be there? You going to prayer? No. But don't let there be a sale at the bar time. The Walmart or Macy's. Have I got your store yet? Let this man be in you. Hey, I've been trying to go shower this up, you need. You no, know you don't need nothing. You ain't got nothing to wear in the closet full. Look at, that. Look at how blessed we are. When we first got saved, it was maybe two suits and two pairs of shoes. Now, we're blessed. Look at how blessed we are. I remember there was only one or two had a decent car in the church. Everybody else was riding around on main pops. <laughs> Y'all remember we used to go to the meeting didn't have enough gas, something go wrong, we jumped out, lay hands on the car. <laughs> we just believed God. Where we go? We had no money, no money. We going to the beach. But now, we can lay up in the hotel, relax. Remember that the time very few could stay in the hotel. We stayed with one another. Huh? But now we can stay in the four-star hotel. I told we were going to tell the real story today. Y'all remember to be out there on the bus on the throughway and be snowing? Great job. Saints jump out. Everybody lay hands on the bus. I know we had simple faith, but now we got a little money. You go on the bus? No! <laughs> uh -uh. Every time the bus breaks down, where is your faith? But you know, there was a press. So I got to get to the meeting. I want to see my brothers and sisters. I want to hear the testimonies. I want to hear the Bible study. I want to hear the preaching. But now we let the little thing get in our way. Let us build up ourselves on your most holy faith. We hope we say something. Right. Lord bless you. Thank you, Lord.